The day that I've been waiting for has finally come, and I'm really excited to show you all what I've done with my annual bonus paycheck. Welcome back to a very special episode of Transfer Tuesday, where I will show y'all how much I made, how much I spent, and where the rest of that money is going for the first half of March of 2024. A very special welcome back to the exactly 13% of y'all who are subscribed. And if you're new here, I'm Raymond, a software engineer on the path to financial independence and retiring early. If you'd like to follow me on my journey, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, so thank you so much in advance. Without further ado, let's start with my income and let's start in reverse order this time, starting with my HSA, which hasn't really changed and it's staying at $131.25 for the first half of this month. Next, let's move on to my paycheck, $3,460.63. Now, if you watch my March budgeting video, you might be a little bit confused in the same way that I was at that paycheck amount. Even if they tax it at a higher rate, something doesn't add up. And I was confused about this for a while as well until I took a closer look at my pay stub and realized that they put 40% of my bonus into my 401k in the same way that 40% of my standard paycheck goes into my 401k. So with that being said, my 401k for this half of the month is $3,061.19, which is about double of what I usually put in for an entire month in one paycheck. The bonus money is still significant even though it's not necessarily life-changing money and I'm kind of glad that they put it into my pre-tax account and didn't tax me on that portion of my bonus. So all in all a very exciting month and still very much more to come with the second half of the month with my increased salary as well as a couple of interviews which might increase my salary even more. But along with my income, I also have expenses. But for the first half of the month, it's been a little bit interesting for some of my categories. Let's start off with rent, which hasn't really changed at $15.87 for my base rent, plus all the additional fees that my apartment complex adds on top. After checking my statements, I realized that it was actually $15.87 and not $15.79, as I've been talking about for the past couple months now, which means that my budgets and my transfer Tuesdays have been a little bit off, but water under the bridge. Next, we have my transit, which I have spent $20 on so far. Again, I don't own a car, thankfully. It is a little bit restrictive since I'm not living in one of those car-free utopia parts of the US, but I still managed to make it work here. Finally, for groceries, this is the kind of surprising part, but for the first two weeks of groceries, I've managed to only spend $83.81. The reason why I've spent so little is actually as a result of two separate things. The first one is just generally spending a little bit more in previous weeks and months and keeping a little bit of a backlog of some of the more expensive items such as protein. The other reason why I've been able to save so much for my groceries for this month is because my American Express Platinum card has a credit monthly for Uber, which can also be used for Uber Eats, which can also be used for Uber Eats groceries. And sometimes they also have that in conjunction with a particular 40% or 50% coupon for groceries. And in that case, when they stack together, it makes my groceries for the week fairly cheap. And finally, for discretionary purchases, I spent $4.05 on some coffee with friends. Next, let's go over to my funds. And in this case, we're starting off the month with just paying off my hospital bills, which is $158.07. And last but not least, the most exciting category of this Transfer Tuesday is money in my Roth IRA. Since I had additional money coming in, I thought to myself, why not just invest it right away? And in this case, I deposited $1,372.10 into my Roth IRA, maxing it out for the year of 2024. Just because my Roth IRA is maxed out doesn't mean that I'm going to be stopping at investing because I still need to reach my financial goals and investing is one of the best ways to achieve that. So in this case, any of the money that I would be putting into my Roth IRA is just going to go to my standard brokerage account and I'm just going to be investing it there. In total, my net gain for the first half of March was $3,586.11 
which is quite a lot. That's about what I see for an entire month typically. And with the extra bonus, it very much feels like two paychecks in one. But that is how I invested my annual bonus. And honestly, I couldn't be happier with the progress that I've made in just a short amount of time with the additional money coming in. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.